Hotel Gardens, and we are with Ryan again today, and we are talking about uh, this. Uh, Ryan, what do we have here today? So this we have here is a shingleback skink. Um, these guys come from Southern Australia, and they also have a lot of other common names. They're known as the pine cone lizard, um, bobtail and knobtail lizards also. These guys are really cool because you look at their tail and their head, they look very similar and that is one of their defenses against predators is they'll go ahead, tuck their tail around and predators have a difficult time telling the difference between the two. They will also use that tail as fat storage for when they are having going through rough periods in the wild, they can rely on that fat storage to survive. So you, you said skink. Uh, now, is there a difference between a lizard and a skink? Is a skink a type of lizard? A skink kind of falls under a type of lizard. Um, these guys are closely related to like the blue tongue skinks that a lot of people are very familiar with. Um, these guys not quite as familiar, but yeah, they're close relatives. Um, but they would fall under the category of lizards. Okay, all right, all right. Do they do they still like shed a skin because they're really like scaly? So do they still? Yeah, these guys will still shed their skin even when it comes off. Um, these guys have been done recently where it usually comes off in almost one big piece. And you kind of see um, all the parts, you leaving at the head and the tail part. And it's kind of hard to tell the difference even on their shed skin when you get that from them. So how many of these skinks do we have? Uh, we actually have three of them up on display for people to check out. Okay, and do we have males and females then? Yeah, we do have a mixture of both, and it's really unique with their uh, breeding process. And males and females will actually continually breed together throughout their entire life, pretty much. That's, that's so cute. Now, what do what these guys eat? What's their normal diet? Uh, their normal diets can be kind of, they like to eat flowers, they like foliage, fruits, berries. Um, so they have a wide variety. They are a little bit more vegetarian, but they'll eat arthropods and stuff too. Okay. So, the, I mean, they seem really calm. I mean, usually when you think of a lizard, they're running around all spastic. And I mean, this one seems super calm, super chill, just on your hand. Are they more of a docile lizard in general? Uh, they're a little more docile. These guys do like to spend a lot of their time hiding even. Um, in the wild, they're not going to be sitting out in the open all the time. Um, one of their defenses, which he did for us earlier, is he went ahead and tried to poop on me, which is lovely. Yeah, that's, that's always lovely. I'm, it's a, quite the defense mechanism, I guess you could say. You, know, you mentioned earlier how they'll curl up into a ball, and that's kind of part of the defense mechanism. Yeah. That's kind of what he's displaying now. Even looking at it right here, it's hard to tell where one area stops and the other one begins here, so I get why that would be a good defense mechanism. I should probably try that. Ryan, I know snakes. I have learned a few things out here. Snakes, uh, when they're sticking their tongue out constantly, that's how they smell. Obviously, is this what this guy's yep. doing now, too? Well, that's what this guy's looking for. Um, he did get fed this morning, so he's still got to finish up some of his meal. So when we're done here, we'll put him back and let him keep munching away the rest of the day. This is, I, I've never held this guy. Why well, I want to hold up this guy. This is... See, I, I don't mind doing this kind of stuff. The raptor feeding, that was a little much, but we had to go to something a little lighter here. Look at that little guy. All right. Well, thank you very much, Ryan. Uh, we'll be talking to you soon. All right.